And before we tip, let's welcome in our sideline reporter tonight, Hall of Famer. Thanks very much, guys. Veteran leadership. David, that's why we follow you. And you're a veteran on this crew. Great to have you with us. Thank you for the report. Now the starting group for the visitors. And for the Celtics. Brogdon on the wing. He's joined by Brown. The closer is out there with Tatum. And it's smart in at the point guard. And Greg, something to keep an eye on in this one, the big man. Both these teams have talented front courts. You're exactly right. Both rely on their bigs. And, and the winner of the game is probably going to be the team that wins that front court matchup. And it's the Celtics to start out. Outside Tatum. And Smart now atop the key. This one for three. Here's the closer. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. The closer's got the first points of the night for the Celtics. And that'll start us off already. You can feel the tension in this arena. And sometimes getting that first bucket puts momentum in your corner. But we'll just have to see. Brown finds Smart. To the middle. The kick out to Brown. They grab their own miss. I love the determination he showed there, getting himself into good position under the glass. With the presence of mind to know just where the rebound was going to come down. Well timed. To the inside. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. That one on Smart. Number six. And this Celtic squad looking like the Celtics of old. Yeah, always a tough squad when I was playing, and it's looking like that again. You got a great mix of young players and veterans, and don't be surprised if Boston is back on top very soon. Very soon. Now, here's Tatum. The kick out to Brown. Now, Smart. Shot clock at five. The three from Tatum. That shot off. From deep, traps in the tray. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Austin's gone 0-3 three from three-point land. Nothing yet going outside. It's Brogdon on the wing. Got a piece of it. He's guarded by Brogdon. To the paint. Left side, Brown. The closer, that's good. The closer's got six. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. Drops it in from 14 feet away. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You got to show some fire and keep defending. Now here's Tatum. The pass to the closer. Back to Tatum. Off target from three-point range. And they had some boxed coverage that turned into no coverage. Count it. Number he five. finds a shooter in a motion and is two. confident he can threaten Number him with the lead seven. pass. Well done. Celtics trail by three. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Guarded by Smart. Lays it up Number off the six. glass. And despite the size disadvantage, attacking the heart of that defense. Really unfazed. Throw his height right out the window there. And that was the mobile one drive. Well worth a second look. And putting that pressure on the rim. That's what it's all about. Threatening with that attack. Now here's Tatum. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. A three-pointer off the mark. Gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Rebounded by Smart. And it's Smart with the ball for the Celtics. It's a five-point game. Again, the miss by the Celtics. 
gotten four of six field goal attempts to drop in the first quarter. And the layup is good. And a nice job here early of Boston. establishing an inside presence. And now the first timeout called here for Boston. You know, trying to stem the tide here. The On the wrong side of the scoring run here, we might see a lineup change. I'll, I'll be pretty curious. Pritchard, he's checked in for Brogdon. 153 left here in the opening quarter. Passes it to Pritchard. Right side, smart. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Number seven. And some of what Smart gives this team doesn't always show up in the stat sheet, but, but he makes plays that help you win. No good on the second free throw. Gone five of seven today so far. Nice shooting to get this game underway. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. Celtics trail by six. 124 left in the first quarter of the game. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. For a guy who's still working on his range, love to see Smart attacking on the interior. He shot two free throws in the game, made one and missed one. And 79% from the line a season ago. Pretty consistent there as a free throw shooter. From downtown, a shot missing. Now Boston takes it the other way. Richard Hammett, we've seen a lot of growth in Jason Tatum's game. He gives credit to the late Kobe Bryant for that. Yeah, he was fortunate enough to train with Kobe Bryant. And sometimes he reminds you of a young Kobe. He clearly absorbed a ton of information from him. Here's the closer. He's got six. Tatum deciding where to go with it. Let's the three fly. Knocks down the three ball. Smart's got his second basket of the night. Intelligent play by Tatum. Moving the ball to get an open shot. Almost, but it rolls out. Celtics trailed by three. Lost to Pritchard. There's the drive. The closer. Up and in for the basket, number four. That makes him four for five now. And we talk about the importance of versatility. He's really got it all on the offensive end. We've got 13 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Five on the clock. And it's blocked. At the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. They lead. 14, the visiting team, 15. And getting going again here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. And looking at what we've seen so far, guys, from the visiting team, what do you think? Yeah, in that first period, they look to push in transition at every opportunity. It leads to some easy buckets, and I think it's given them control of the pace in this one. Smart is the point. White is on the wing. On the front court along with Tatum. And it's the closer in at the five roaming the paint. That's the five to begin the second quarter for the Celtics. And that's a block right there. He swats that ball away with some energy. Yeah, quick thinking pays off big. What a block. Boston trail. And here's Smart. Here's Tatum. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Well, Greg, we see it every year. Those overachieving teams in the NBA. What enables them to be greater than the sum of their parts? Well, listen, luck can play a part, but confidence is a huge factor as well. If you walk into that gym every night believing you'll find a way to win, oftentimes you do. We talk about Tatum's offense, and for good reason, but his play on the defensive end is really valuable for this team. For a star like him, you get lots of opportunities at the line, and he's great at cashing them in. Goes back up, and he lays it up and in. He's got six. 
And we've seen several lead changes tonight. Neither team giving an inch. I've been on the edge of my seat courtside. Man, this has been a barn burner. Outside, White. And the first shot of the night for him, missing. Be one of the high points for them in this game at 54%. To the right side. And taken away by Brown. Another shot. It's blocked. Guarded by Smart. Puts it up from 17. Pass to the closer. Nice pass. Nice catch and a resounding dunk. Six changes of the lead here. Yeah, both teams still kind of feeling their way through this game. Gone one of three to start out the second quarter. White covering. And off the left side of the rim, and it swirls in for him. And boy, did he ever sell the pump fake. Worked to absolute perfection. Outside, smart. On the wing, Brown. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And Jalen Brown is such a force on the offensive end. Hard to keep that guy out of the paint. Terrific finisher at the rim. And he sinks the second. And maybe the only weakness for Brown is his handle on the ball. And it's something that he's worked on every offseason. Still, though, susceptible to turnovers while dribbling. That's one of the very few weaknesses in his game. And that one drops. Five points in the game. How about that move? You'll see very few players able to pull off. Just sensational stuff. Here's Tatum. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. An active score. Whenever Tatum forces the issue and goes at the defense, they have to compromise. Jason Tatum. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Gone three of their first five shots to drop here in the second quarter. He's covered by Brown. Three minutes of action so far in the second quarter. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. And he found the perfect spot behind the arc there. Big gap in the deep. There's the pass to Smart. Back to Tatum. Poke loose, down low, and he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. It's an evolving portion of Tatum's game, which is scary that he's still evolving, but it's becoming a staple. Started by Smart, releases from 15. Good work defensively by Smart. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for the Boston Celtics. They trail by one. And you're just not going to see him do that very often. Usually when he rises up, there's a guarantee it's going down. He's covered by Brown. It's the front of the rim and out. Great contest by the defense, and he's unable to hit that tough fadeaway. White, wide open. He fights. Good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. Tatum's got three assists in the game. Guarded by Smart. And Tatum pulls it down. And smothered him on that mid-range attempt. That's how you play it. Does a good job of getting into the shooter's airspace. Here's Smart. There's the closer. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. Guarded by Tatum. Got it for his fourth field goal of the game on just five shots. Taking it up strong against size. He does not lack for confidence. Really putting the bigger defender on his heels. I love seeing aggressive finishes like that. And a great job to get that angle on a tremendous drop. 
and that's what a coach loves to see in a close game. Just put your head down and make something happen. And usually that's a bucket for him, but look, nobody's perfect in the mid-range. Guarded by Smart. On the wing, Brown. It's up a three. Offensive rebound. Smart misses. Gotten exactly half their shots to go down here in the second. Five of ten. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Six to shoot. Fires for three. The rebound by the Celtics. Wide open, he fired. That doesn't go either for Brown. So a tie game here as we finish the first half. Stay with us, folks. We'll get back just after halftime to start the third quarter. No visiting team, 26. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, folks. Ernie Johnson here with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. It's the NBA on 2K Sports, and let's talk the first half. Boston found themselves in a close game in the first. Some good action during the period, as it was just a one-point game at the end of one. And so far, they're out in front, but not by much as we head into the half. And let's get your thoughts, big fella, on the speech. And... We've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. You look at the closer in this game, guys. He's been everywhere. Yeah, and he was an absolute monster on the offensive glass in that first half. I don't know how you slow him down. The way to limit those offensive boards, it's just effort, guys. Whoever is guarding him has to get to position and beat him to the spot. And with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. A line for the away team, number seven, taking two shots. Shoot two. And they now lead as the free throw drops for him. Both good from the line that time. Here's the closer. Passes it to Brown. Away team foul number four. And we have to take another glance at that powerful rejection. And guys, that is lockdown defense at its finest. Going right at the shot and then able to knock it away. Brogdon outside. Pass to Smart. Here's the closer. And the call on the shot sends him to the line. Yeah, the defender all over. The Celtics have made two-thirds of their free throws tonight. Six of nine to be exact. And take a look back at last season. And what a season it was for them from the free throw line. 82% as a group. First free throw is good. Oh, 
And he makes both free throws. Well, 50% from the floor. Guarded by Smart. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. It goes on Jason Tatum. Wow. Wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. Shooting for the away team, number six. At the line for two. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. And so he hits both. Austin trailing. Smart on the wing. Down down low. Brown jams it in. Oh, was it just me or was there a little bit extra on that slam by Brown? And right now, let's watch that terrific swat. And this is why coaches stress the importance of defense. Big block there in this close game. There's the closer. Drops in the breakaway layup. The closer's got 16 points. A great competitive game so far. And from the look of it, this one could go right down to the wire. It's stolen by Brown. And here comes Brown, leading the fast break. That one goes. Count it. Now it's a four-point Celtic lead. What an effort by Brown, outrunning everyone else for that little solo break. That was a second look at our Mobile One Drive. Amazing control on display. And that's the kind of bucket they needed. Close game in the second half. Great finish on that one. Inside. A fader. Rejected by Brockton. To the inside. Picked off in midair. Guarded by Tatum. And looks like the illegal kick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. Beyond the leaning, you could see his feet weren't set on that screen. Easy call. Look, guys get away with this all the time, but on this occasion, he got caught. And the Celtics making a change here. Williams has checked in. Pass to Brown. Three-pointer. No good that time. 48% from the field. Not bad at all. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Second personal foul. Third team foul. And he makes the first. Number seven. Taking two shots. And good on the second. So he makes them both. Just under two and a half minutes into the third quarter now. And the pass to Brogdon. And he's going up for the alley-oop. An emphatic alley-oop jam. A primary responsibility of Brogdon's. When someone is open on his squad, he gets it to him. And oh boy, a lot of contact there. But he gets the call and will shoot two. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. Shooting for the away team, number five, two shot. And he knocks down the first one. And so he's able to get one of two. Celtics leading by three. In the corner, it's Brogdon. Oh, good on the triple. And here's the fast break. The 11-footer, it's hauled in by Brown. And here's Brown. He'll bring it up for the Boston Celtics. And how about Jalen Brown, part of that young core 
for the Celtics. Yeah, he's been through a lot with this young group of guys. They've grown together, they've come in together, and they've gotten better together. And you've seen the production of Brown increase because of it. Puts it up. The rebound by the closer. The closer's got six rebounds here tonight. Dishes to Smart. Pass to Williams. Little turnaround. That shot off the mark. Oh, come on. Those are the looks you can't mess up. From this close inside, you got to get the job done. Shot up two there. Stayed with it, and his effort is rewarded with the second chance bucket. Outside, smart. A minute 50 left here in the third quarter. Here's Brogdon, pass to the closer. And a great assist by Brogdon as that one goes in. The closer's got the lead up to five now for Boston. Gone only one of five from the field since halftime. Very slow start offensively. The closer really making a difference here. He's been on an absolute tear inside. They've got to figure out a way to keep him out of the lane. I don't know. It's time to make some noise for some teacher. Some changes here for the Celtics. Jackson, he's checked in for Jalen Brown. And it's Pritchard in for Smart. Substitutions for the Celtics. Justin Jackson. Peyton Pritchard. From deep three-point range. No good that time. The Celtics go the other way with it. We've got 118 left in the third quarter. Williams passes to Brogdon. With the floater. He can't get that one to fall. Gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Takes it inside. Nails the baby hook. He's got seven. Celtics leading by three. Outside Williams. Pass to Brogdon. On the wing, Jackson. Unloads from 13. Oh, and that one had the right spit on it, and it is good. Shows creativity when making plays for his teammates. Brogdon adds a refreshing dynamic to this group. Fade away. A second chance effort. And he sinks the layup. Important points there. Got him on a nice play. Getting the ball inside and right to the bucket. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Bounce pass from Williams. The shot by Brogdon wide open. Good. Great play by Williams to set it up. Brogdon's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Four seconds left. Got a hand on it. And so it's Boston with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. They're playing a bruising game inside, and it's working for them. Right back after this break. 39. And now let's go back to a play from earlier as we show you our State Farm assist of the game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and what a beautiful feed. Serving it up on a platter, that is a beautiful dish. And two teammates on the same page? Woo! And with three quarters behind us, we start the fourth quarter in what is still anybody's ball game. Brogdon on the wing. He's joined by Brown. Griffin out there with the closer. And it's smart in at the point. That's who's in the game for the Celtics. Knocked away. And that's out of bounds. Boston will retain possession. Here's 
Here's the closer. The pass to Brown. Shot clock at six. Here's the break. And the powerful one-handed slam. Such opportunistic basketball right there. And that's when they desperately needed it. Passes to the closer. Tipped away. Being in this game, 45%. Takes a three. Kept alive. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. Yeah, <laughs> right now, he's just in his own head. Not much you can do to try and push through it. Brown didn't kick to Brown. Five to shoot. Fires from the line. And that's good for two. Brown's got the lead up to six now for the Celtics. And each year, it seems Brown keeps getting better at shooting the ball, especially from the mid-range. Final quarter of play, about a minute and a half off the clock into it. And they call an illegal screen here. That's going to draw a whistle every time down the floor, not even close to being a legal screen. That's a very avoidable turnover. You've got to focus on the details. The Celtics making a switch here. Tatum's checked in. A steal. To the wing on the left. The rebound by the closer. The closer's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. So hard to guard him without fouling sometimes. Brown doesn't mind getting a little contact on his way up. And Brown drops them both. Game moves along. Two minutes gone here in the fourth. He's covered by Brown. For the three, it's hauled in by Brown. It was rough shooting night tonight, but you can't fault him for the effort. And he uses the glass on the way. Brown's got ten points in just the second half. Sometimes Brown just looks unstoppable. A little contact doesn't bother him at all. I'm glad we got a chance to check out that fantastic drive one more time. And trying to extend this lead, no better way than playing north and south, getting after it. Goes up again, and it's good on the layup. You'd love to get the ball this close in every trip where you can almost just not miss. Outside, smart. Round inside, misses in close. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. Rebounded by the Celtics. Here's the closer. That one falls. And that's just cold-blooded right there. He's taking no prisoners. This is what you expect from him, just coming alive and dominating in effortless fashion here in the fourth. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Celtics. Gone just two of eight in this fourth quarter. The final quarter not treating them well so far. Looking to get it going. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. Wow, he doesn't make plays like that very often. That's a nice move inside. Number six, one shot. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Outside Tatum. Oh, and there's the alley-oop. Hammers the alley-oop through. And how about the communication between teammates on that alley-oop? And that's what you need to pull that thing off. Every time out, a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. I'm sure all of the above is in order, and you can never be too content.
And now a moment to present the New Balance Player of the Game, the closer. Yeah, and his performance has been a jaw dropper. It must have been feeling great coming into the building tonight because once he hit the court, it was all working for him. He was in a zone. He sure has given this crowd a treat tonight. This kind of performance only cements his status as a fan favorite. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Hey, guys. Well, during the break, I was able to catch the message the visiting team coach gave to his team. He told them flat out, we are turning the ball over too much, guys. We can't keep making the hero ball play. Slow it down, run the offense, and make the safe pass. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, David. They can take their time on this possession. It wouldn't be a bad idea just give themselves a little bit of a break. Launches it. Doesn't go for him. Gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. And Boston with the rebound. Tatum's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. To the middle. It's tipped. And he's able to get it back. Brown. Good. the pedestrian 36 percent in the fourth quarter offense not doing their best work of late guarded by smart steps back and fires the rebound by the closer and here's tatum he'll bring it up for the celtics they have a nine point lead outside smart back to tatum And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Brogdon. That pass wandered off target. Can't lose focus on the little bitty things. 59 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. That one on smart. Shooting for the away team, number six. Kawhi for two. Shooting two. So the first one drops, and that brings them within eight. He's perfect from the line this time. 52 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Brogdon outside. On the wing, Brock. Back to Brogdon. Six to shoot. You're smart. They get it back. Tatum. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. You can depend on Tatum to grab his share of boards. Just another thing he does well for his team. Making no mistakes and putting some extra nails in the coffin right here. That pretty much did. And he lobs it up toward the rim. One second separating the shot clock and game clock. That one good for two. And it's a 12-point Boston lead. Saw the opportunity to put this away and did not turn it down. And that score probably slams the door for any would-be comebacks. And look, they put this one to bed. Substitution on the court. Eleven seconds left in the fourth quarter, and it's in there. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You got to show some fire and keep defending. And so it's Boston easily grabbing this one. Even early on in this one, it seemed like they were happy to be playing at home tonight. And it makes a big difference. Once they started to really play in rhythm, you never felt like they had any doubts as to whether or not they were going to win. And now we'll see.